With his popularity plummeting, a desperate Trudeau is now looking to manipulate technology to salvage his political fortunes. Despite clear warnings, Trudeau guided Canada's proposed AI laws to retain the option of using deepfakes and disinformation to deceive voters. Now that Trudeau faces a steep uphill climb to re-election, he appears willing to go to unethical lengths to cling to power. Sacrificing ethics and Canadians' rights, he wants to exploit ambiguous AI regulations since he can no longer win fair and square. Trudeau is clearly panicked by the prospect of losing the next election. So he has opted to leave open pathways for AI election interference, no matter the damage to democracy. Trudeau's willingness to use tech trickery shows a flailing leader with no moral compass and no bottom line he won't cross. With Trudeau's base eroding, he wants emergency powers to mislead voters and manipulate public opinion. But sacrificing truth and democratic principles for partisan gain is the ultimate disgrace. Trudeau's unscrupulous AI scheming proves he does not deserve to be prime minister. Canada must reject his dangerous win-at-all-costs mentality. Welcome back to Street Politics Canada. When it comes to artificial intelligence, Justin Trudeau has utterly failed Canadians. AI represents both enormous opportunities and grave dangers for our society. But rather than exercising responsible leadership, Trudeau shoved through a deliberately feeble AI bill that leaves Canadians exposed. Trudeau knew AI required balanced regulations to protect Canadians' rights and democracy itself. And he contemptuously ignored experts' clear warnings. Trudeau was more obsessed with exploiting AI's loopholes for political gain and safeguarding Canadians from disinformation campaigns. The Trudeau government's mishandling of AI policy was recently on full display when representatives from Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and other tech giants unanimously criticized the Liberals' proposed AI legislation. Experts warn that Bill C-27 is overly broad, vague, and likely to stifle innovation. Big tech executives told MPs that the bill fails to differentiate between high- and low-risk AI systems. They said the law as written would impose excessive compliance costs even on benign AI applications like autocorrect. Microsoft warned the bill goes farther than AI regulations in the EU. Canada deserves smart policies tailored for our specific needs, not clumsy rules pulled from thin air. Trudeau clearly failed to consult AI specialists before tabling this bill. But that should come as no surprise from a prime minister who disregards expert advice whenever it conflicts with his political agenda. This disregard for expertise is evident across Trudeau's policies. With AI, Trudeau again let ideological aspirations override evidence. Canadians should be deeply concerned that Trudeau's AI bill ignores urgent warnings from our own cyber intelligence agencies. The communications security establishment recently cautioned that foreign adversaries will likely use AI tools to interfere in Canada's next federal election. A particular concern are generative AI programs that can create deepfake videos to deceive voters. CSE says it probably won't be able to identify all the deepfakes malign actors unleashed to influence the election. Yet Trudeau's legislation does little to prevent or deter these AI disinformation campaigns. The bill lacks clear prohibitions against weaponized deepfakes. Trudeau is leaving the window wide open for information warfare against our democracy. Why would the government ignore CSE's clear warnings? Perhaps because the liberals want to keep open the option of using AI disinformation themselves. Trudeau has repeatedly demonstrated a win-at-all-costs mentality when it comes to elections. His willingness to break ethics rules and skirt election laws for political gain is well documented. Trudeau's toothless AI legislation raises deep suspicions given his pattern of putting political self-interest over principle. The parallels to the controversial donation tied to Chinese billionaires are striking. When the Trudeau Foundation accepted foreign donations in 2016, Trudeau was warned of potential influence schemes targeting his government. An intelligence report indicated one Chinese donor discussed reimbursement after the Liberals took power. Despite alarms about foreign meddling, Trudeau ignored troubling signs for political gain. Similarly, Trudeau's vague AI bill ignores experts ringing alarms about new threats like deep fakes. The loopholes suggest Trudeau wants wiggle room to deploy AI disinformation if it benefits the liberals, just as he welcomed questionable foreign donations. Trudeau has repeatedly shown willingness to break rules and ethics for self-serving ends. Whether questionable foreign money or dangerous technology, Trudeau exploits opportunities rather than exercise caution. He twists vague laws and loopholes to cling to power instead of protecting Canada. The foundation scandal and AI bill both reveal Trudeau's pattern of optimizing political advantage over national interest. He disregards expert warnings, dances around direct prohibitions, and benefits from ambiguous regulations. Trudeau's AI negligence, like the foundation donations, raises suspicions of putting partisanship first. 
Trudeau cannot be trusted to place democratic principles above his partisan interests when it comes to artificial intelligence. His proposed AI legislation seems deliberately crafted to benefit liberal political campaigns rather than protect Canadians. Leading AI expert Yoshio Bengio has urgently warned that advancing artificial intelligence poses a serious threat to democracy in Canada and worldwide. Bengio cautions that AI is nearing the ability to generate highly deceptive fake videos, images, and text content to manipulate public opinion and influence political outcomes. He says superhuman AI with skills surpassing humans could arise in just years. Yet despite these clear alarms from a respected pioneer in the AI field, Prime Minister Trudeau has disregarded the warnings and neglected legislative opportunities to address AI's risks. Rather than closing loopholes, Trudeau has left open pathways for the spread of AI disinformation in future Canadian elections. Other AI thought leaders have echoed Benjo's concerns, cautioning that the proliferation of deepfakes and manipulated content could severely erode public trust in institutions. However, Trudeau seems willing to discount these credible warnings from experts because regulating AI could close off tools useful for his own political ambitions and advancement. His approach mirrors past ethical lapses prioritizing self-interest over principles. Canada currently lacks sufficient safeguards to protect our democracy against threats amplified by artificial intelligence's rapid evolution. Benjo stresses that laws regulating AI are urgently needed even if initial legislation is imperfect. However, members of parliament like Rick Perkins remain reluctant to swiftly pass bills. Experts like Ignacio Cofoni also argue Canada's proposed AI laws do not adequately recognize collective societal dangers. The legislation concentrates on individual risks rather than overarching threats AI poses to Canadian democracy as a whole. Cofoni explains AI disinformation can polarize voters and disempower marginalized groups, fundamentally harming civic discourse. Canadians should be extremely troubled by Trudeau's disregard for AI's threats to national security and social cohesion. His lack of foresight places Canada at risk of manipulation by foreign actors, and his unwillingness to close loopholes suggests Trudeau is happy to rely on public deception himself. Trudeau has failed Canadians again by prioritizing politics over principled policy. His poorly conceived AI bill cannot be fixed through a few tweaks and amendments. Progress requires starting from scratch under a government truly committed to upholding ethics and democratic norms. AI policy is far too important for partisan games. Canada needs comprehensive regulations and safeguards to prevent AI abuse while enabling innovation. Developing a balanced approach requires good faith consultation with experts across fields. Trudeau has proven himself incapable of putting policy before political ambition. On AI and many other files, Trudeau has shown he is driven by self-interest rather than the national interest. His lack of ethics, dismissal of expert advice, and pursuit of power above all else have damaged Canadians' trust. Our AI future is too vital for Trudeau's high-risk vanity politics. We must change course now by demanding better leadership. Well, that's all for now. If Trudeau cynically leaves loopholes on AI disinformation, how else might he be compromising Canada's future for political wins? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. You can also follow us on Twitter, where we post stuff we can't post on YouTube. You can find the link in the description below. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.